Welcome to the Hood Journal. I'm here with... A Cooley with the motherfucking Tooley, period. Yes, yes. A Cooley with the Tooley. I'd like to start off with my interviews by giving my guest a father's appreciation. Part two. Feel me, DHJ alum. Appreciate you for traveling all this way, investing in me, investing in yourself, and uh, pulling up and linking up with me so we get this interview. Of course, of course. I already told you, you're the only person that's going to get this out of me after work, <laughs> yeah. so you already know how I feel about you, man. I appreciate that. For me, long overdue as well. Yeah. I know we got a lot to talk about. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, uh, we last linked up in November, December 2022. Yeah. A while ago, feels like forever, yeah. especially in this new day and age. Uh, how has life treated you since our last conversation? Um, life has been life like... So many positive changes, so many negative ones, but like, shit, life just been all over the place, and I'm I'm happy for that. So right, right, complaints. right. Yeah, uh, life for me it surprises us on every twist and turn. Yeah. Um, what are some milestones that you that you like to share? Um, that you've achieved uh in in the past year and a half. Definitely, I've had more performances, like, career-wise. I've I seen. Yeah, I'll be outside, like, I'll be doing my thing, so that's good. And then, like, I have an actual, like, real people job. Like, I was already telling you, like, I'm a barista and shit, so yeah. I've been doing my thing there, and I got, you know, a promotion, so. Fire, okay. Yeah, so, you know, shit been happening, shit been happening. Fire, fire. Hopefully, we can see you, like, owning some coffee spots in the future. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no nah, word. Um, what what has that been like? Um, I, I've seen you do a bunch of performances uh, in the past couple months. What, what what's that been like? Being able to get on stage and do what you love. Um, it feels different every single time. Like, I'm a person that is like really worked through nerves. Like, mm. I just I be nervous all the time. Like, even right now, I'm nervous. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not because I don't know him or anything, but just yeah. that's just how I am. So. It's always, like, practice. That's how I look at it. So, like, every time I get on the stage, every time I sit behind a microphone, like, it's practice. I'm just working on building my persona as a coolie, you there know, separating from Ashanti, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, you comfortable to say your, uh, your yeah, girl's you name see? this time? Okay, <laughs> yeah. I respect that. I respect that. I know last time. Because, yeah, niggas, that be acting like, I be acting like <laughs> people don't know who I am, but niggas know. My name, yeah. How do you prepare for a live performance? Going on stage and working the nerves? How, how, how do you pre- prepare? Well... Definitely a lot of, like, practice with myself. Like, I'm a person that I study everything. I study myself the most. Like, I'm going to listen to my shit. I'm going to know what ad-libs and what breaths and all that. So definitely, like, studying myself and listening to my songs. Um, Sometimes management will, you know, make sure we practice it, like, together in, like, real life. So sometimes I got to bust it out in my living room right quick and, you know, perform. Um, Definitely Ray and Nephew's. (laughs) <laughs> oh my god <laughs> respect respect yeah some random nephews before i hit the stage a blunder tool you know make me chill they're yeah, calling nerves yeah then i'll be outside say that say that say that um in the past year and a half anything that happened that you wish turned out differently or that you wish that you could have uh did differently no hell no <laughs> everything happens for a reason yep mm-hmm. <laughs> no regrets no Amen. <laughs> <laughs> we don't leave it right at there. Cooley with the Tooley. Um, talk to us about the status of your music career. Um, for me, I know we're gonna talk about pressure. I know you got pressure on the way dropping at the time of this recording next month. Mm-hmm. Um, but where where you at musically? Working. I feel like that's always gonna be my answer. Yeah. Like just working and practice. Like I be I write all the time. Like there's a whole bunch of different beats and shit that I want to try. A whole bunch of different sounds. Like I want to do it all. So like. The status is just working. I'm trying to, like, drop more because I think the last shit was for a minute. That was, yeah. like, I think, like, Valentine's Day. Yeah, That's last crazy. year, facts. I mean, it's not really crazy to me because, like, everything happens for a reason. And, like, I'm a person, I, I like to take my time with shit. Like, I don't want to rush nothing because I don't want to make the wrong moves. But, yeah, yeah, the status is just working and just trying and just perfecting my craft. Mm-hmm. But there's definitely some shit coming, so, yeah. Definitely fun. looking forward to it. Yeah. While you've been working, while you've been continuing to skill build and things like that, what, what have you been most proud of? What have you discovered about yourself in the past year? I've just been pushing myself. Like like I said, like I'm already a person that's mad nervous. I, In my line of work, I can't be nervous, whether yeah. it's my actual job and yeah. I'm making drinks for people or I'm fucking making music and performing for people. I can't be nervous. Like, me being nervous is really what keeps me in the same place and keeps me stagnant. Yeah. So I just I just gotta push myself and keep doing that. And that's what I've been doing this past year, I would say. As you should. Happy to hear that. Happy to hear that. Any funny memory? I mean, any funny moments being a barista? And mess up anybody's drinks? No, I don't. I don't make mistakes. Okay, hey, period. period. Like, period. I, I'm, I'm good at my job. I've been doing this shit for a while. There we I don't go. make mistakes, but not customers, especially where I work out. Work 
you know, tourist land. So okay, I ain't okay. gonna say, you know, but for I ain't sure, gonna say for it, sure. but I work where it's a lot of fucking tourists and just people being dumb. <laughs> so I might have to curse out a customer once or twice. You know, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm surprised you didn't go viral. <laughs> I'm surprised too. I mean, like, it really gets like that, but yeah, so definitely I, I can't even be specific because like, that shit happens like, a lot. It happens okay. a lot. Of, sometimes you gotta tell people about themselves. So it is what it is. Yeah, for sure. It's important. You know, Taurus, you gotta stop playing with Cooley, man. Period. Please stop. For sure, for sure. I know that you're a part of, um, I guess, Harlem's Finest, the the, the company, the label, um, yeah. that entity. Um, Talk to me about um, what's that being like, being part of um, the new upcoming empire uh, in the city. It's lit. Like, it gives <laughs> <laughs> <it> give <laughs> me, like... Dreamville and shit. Like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And I'm the only girl right now. So, and I hope that we keep it that way, management. Uh, but I know realistically it's not going to be like that. Yeah, it's tough with a lot of tough women doing their thing out here. You feel yeah, me? You know, and I'm time with time all of come. that. You feel me? But right now, I like being the only woman on the label, you know? And Period. just when it comes, like, because, you know, Dre and Lassie, so they're guys. Yeah. They be chilling. They don't really, you know what I'm yeah. saying? As a woman, like, I be needing a lot of things my way. And management is also a woman. So she yeah, needs for things sure. my way. But I love it. Like, it's it's a learning pro- process, you feel me? I learn things about the people I work with, even, the, like, my fucking brother's on. I learn things yeah. about my brother as an artist, and that's dope, you know what I'm saying? So just learning each other and working with each other, and I feel like we're very productive when we all lock in together and right. do shit. So, yeah, I'm just ready to see where that's going to go. Period. What, what is the biggest thing that you learn about um, everybody else, a part of the entity with Dre and Lassie and, and management and uh, with Nine Fire Rose? Like, what have you been able to learn from them during this process? Although we got a team, niggas is going to do things their way. Yeah, like, sure. like, period. Like, and that's what I'm saying. Because I'm like, I want to say a people pleaser, but I, I I got those ways, you know. Like, I could be like, okay, well, if management thinks this, then I can go with that. Or if Dre yeah. thinks that, or if Lassie thinks. But nah, like, I love them, but no, fuck y'all. Like, yeah, I got to, no. you know what I'm saying? I got to do what I got to do. Because at the end of the day, y'all going to do what y'all going to do. And I'm going to always support that, you know For what sure. I'm saying? So I just you know, even with a team, niggas are still going to move how they need to move for their career and their, you know, their livelihood and shit. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And like you said, for me, obviously with you being a woman, I feel like even though... You know, you need things a certain way. I think it's important to get that woman's perspective, woman's opinion on certain, like, creative things. Because, you know, as guys, sometimes we just go with the flow. Y'all know shit. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all hey, know shit. Hey, you're not wrong. But for me, I think it's great to be, you know, led and work alongside women and just see they... Because they got a different eye for things. Mm-hmm, things like that. For sure. Why do you believe in the success of Harlan's Finest? Just because the person found in it. Like, what the period, fuck? Period. Like, before, like, that was even my manager. Like, just... Off the material of the person, you know, Chris, like, she... Shout out Chris, man. Yeah, period. She, she's about it. Like, she do what she gotta do. You feel me? Right. And I'm the same way. Just in my own right, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I may not handle things how she handles things, but, like, I think the vision is the same. We both wanna fucking make it and take care of our fucking families. Period. Now, how are we gonna do that? You know what I'm saying? So, right. just the, the willingness and the drive that she has to make sure we're doing what we gotta do to take care of our families, bet. Like, right. I know you're gonna be successful because you're not doing this with no, no weird intentions or no weird shit, you know? Yeah. A lot of people, especially in this generation where everybody trying to make it, niggas is looking for a come up. Niggas is looking for, oh, all right, I scratch your back, how you gonna scratch mine? Yeah, by any means. Yeah, you feel me? That her. shit gets, it gets very overwhelming. That's why I don't work with a lot of people, but Paul and Finance, because I don't got time for all that shit, you feel me? But, right. Her dedication shows me like niggas is gonna go somewhere. Point blank, period. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. I, and that was a trick question. I, we all believe in the success of Harlem Finest, but basically, <laughs> we we and we understand what makes that stand out. But you know, just being able to hear that that reassuring things like that. You no, know, I I expect big things from Harlem Finest from everybody on the label. Period. No cap. With your with your with your younger brother, um, Dre Guzzi. Shout out Dre Guzzi. Yes. Um, talk to me about um, just reiterate to the to the people how talented he is and what you guys have been able to work on recently. Um, well, you know me, you know Drake Lizzie is my fucking twin. Yeah, That's my period. younger brother. I'm older than him. <laughs> so don't, don't ask you gotta, me. You got to remind them. Yeah, because they be, they be tripping. Like. But yeah, that's my little brother, whatever. Very talented dude. Very smart. Very funny. Just very, just, oh, I don't even, he got the je ne sais quoi. Like, he, he got it. You know what I'm saying? Look, look that word up. Because if y'all don't know, then y'all need to know. Period. From point blank period, like, he got it. You feel me? He's definitely a star in his own right. And I love that. I love that we can come together and do what we need to do. And I feel like now our relationship is more so like, I'm his older sister, so like, of course, I'm very protective and I'm on top of shit. You feel me? Sure. But like, I, this this year I had to like really understand that 
my little brother is actually a grown man. Mm. And, you know, that's a very big pill to swallow for a lot of my <laughs> older sisters out there. Like, we don't yeah. want to hear that. Like, and we don't want to face that reality. But, like, I trust my brother to make the best decisions for himself and what he feels is, you know, right for his life. And that's right. exactly what he's been showing me. He's going to do what he got to do for himself. And point blank period, that's how you got to be. Yeah, no, nah, for sure, for sure. I, I felt that because I'm the oldest of three. So, like, when I have oh, my little cool. brothers and my little sister, right, right. It's like, you feel me? I remember when you were so little and used to do everything I told you. But now... now they hit you with the yo, I'm grown. I I got it. It's like okay. Like, Who the fuck? <laughs> but you're right. You're right though. We turned over newly. We can't. You feel me? We can't yeah. be. Yeah. I ain't, it's not. It's not like the good old days. Um. But that's. But that's. That's beautiful to hear from me. Um. Duffy got to looking forward to working with him. Um. Yeah. In the future. And same with Lassie. Can you just tell the people like how how talented um he is and what you guys been able to work on? Lassie, Lassie's like. We call him Salasilus. Like Ooh, that yeah. nigga sound like fabulous. So we mix his name with fabulous. Like. Like, his, just his, his flow, his delivery, his work ethic, okay. like, it's... Especially because, like, besides Dre, I don't work with other guys because yeah, niggas yeah, yeah. are weird. I'm just going to say, y'all, niggas be weird. You guys said that in the last interview. Yeah, and I'm yeah. always saying it because yeah. niggas still be weird. Oh, man, come niggas on, guys. Niggas got even more weird. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but you yeah. feel me? Like, last year is a very upstanding dude. Like, he's very... He works mad hard. He don't play. He want his shit how he want it. Uh, and he's willing to support and be a team player. I got a whole bunch of things that I've worked on with last year and as well as Dre, you know what I'm saying? So... Last is just an amazing dude. Fire. Can you talk to me about um, what it was like working with him on the track for a minute? Um, I know it was a little while ago. Yeah, it was a little minute ago. I'm trying to think. Oh, for it. You found that beat, right? Yeah, duh, bitch. Shout <laughs> Chris. Yeah, Chris, we always found the beat. So, yeah, yeah, she got that one. Um, She found the beat. I Lassie live in my hood. I just never seen him. Like, okay. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'll be, I'm a homebody. I don't what know. was it like when you guys first met? I was weird. I was shy. I was just like, mm, you know what I'm saying? Pulled up to the stew session downtown. There was mad niggas in there. Uh, and then all his friends, they're men. They, uh, was, yeah, they had yeah. the nerve to have me and Christina standing up. How oh, dare y'all? nasty work. Yeah, they was crazy for that. Nasty but, work. Um, they, they made me feel very comfortable. His engineer, shout out Jody Fitz. Oh, my God. Okay. Jody Fitz gave me fucking tea. I've never been in a studio where an engineer gave me tea. <laughs> and I love tea. So it was awesome. Um, Once I got past the nerves and shit, I was I felt really free to do my thing. He was very supportive and like I was hard on myself and he mm-hmm. was like, nah, fuck that, like you're doing good, this is how it's gonna sound. Boy. Um the first day we recorded for a minute, I don't think that was that wasn't the final. It wasn't. Yeah, we ended up re recording in another studio, okay. but yeah, it was dope. Like I love working with Lassie. Fire, fire, shout out Lassie. Period. Um for me, while we on the top of the music, I know uh you've been promoing uh, your upcoming track pressure. Period. Yes, yes. Um feel me. Cover art looks dope, feel me? Um, looking forward to hearing it. What, what was it like making that track? Hmm. I just talked about my life. I like, with music, a lot of people don't really understand. Like, artists actually use this shit to, like, to communicate. Yeah, you know, to like, vent. yeah, and that's, I'm not going to say what I do, but that's what I've started to do. Because, like, in my regular life, I'm not really a person that's big on communication. I don't like to talk. Like, I feel like, nigga, you should fucking know. And if you don't, leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, sometimes with music and a lot of people that I deal with in my personal life, the only time they fucking get it is when I sing it or I rap it. So mm, I'm like, okay, okay if, I'm not, if I'm communicating with you and you don't understand it as a Shanti, maybe if I sing it and I put it on a fire beat, you'll get it then. You know what I'm saying? Right, so, right, right. Um, pressure is just basically it's a love song, you know, it talks about like knowing your worth, but you know, feeling conflicted because you want to dabble in some stuff that you might you know it's probably not the best for you but you don't give a fuck because you know what you bring to a table you know what that yeah. person brings to a table and it's you know fun it's a sexy song like so yeah I'm, I'm you just gotta listen I'm talking about some real shit it's, yeah, yeah. it's on the people that know me and don't know me to decide like what is she really talking about yeah, so right, I'll leave that right. to the public you know right yeah looking forward to hearing that track um uh I gotta put you on the spot can we get a, a date I know we don't have a date oh, yet shit. but can we like announce <laughs> a date help me yeah, oh, okay, real right, shit, because right. life been life is. So, like, I, yeah. I got a, my birthday coming up in June, so I'm trying oh, to get my finances. Yeah. yeah, thank you. I'm trying to get my finances together for that, but I'm also still trying to get the music rolling. So, I submitted it to United Masters or whatever, so okay. I'm waiting on them pretty okay. much to tell yeah. me. United Masters, would, get it yeah, together. You'll be the first person to know. Okay, so I doubt, so I doubt. Yeah. I appreciate you know. that. Yes, yes, pressure on the way. Sure, um, yeah. Aside from that, um, any more upcoming singles, any, any projects on the way, any... What what can we expect from you musically? Um, as we head into the summer. Um, well, June seventh, I plan on dropping a song called "None to Prove." If you watch me perform or even. 
follow me on Instagram, you've definitely seen the song, heard the song. Um, it's a little, a boo, a boo. Okay. one of those type of vibes, TikTok vibes, you feel me? Okay. So, you know, it's good for the kids, but it's also good for the people that, you know, got real life shit to talk about, because I'm also talking some real life shit on that, too. The kids like the song. My kids, we're not even going to do that. Anyway, because I used to work in a school. I posted my shit on TikTok. I remember. Shout out Miss A. <laughs> just because you're in fifth grade don't mean you don't got people sucking your dick, please. Just don't mean you don't got haters because you're in fifth grade. No diddy. No diddy. No you know what the fuck I mean. <laughs> oh, my God. Just because you're a child don't mean you don't got haters. It totally I know, came out. A, yeah, really. Just <laughs> when I was a kid, I had haters, you feel me? So I feel like it's definitely... And when I say in terms of the kids, like, you know how kids like to get sturdy. They like to yeah. do Jersey shit, you feel yeah. me? So, yeah, it's for that, you feel me? But, like, listening to the words is for adults, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Sure. But, you know, June 7th, that's coming. That's actually on my birthday. So I plan yeah. on, you know giving y'all some fire content, you know, and then some music on top of that, so. Fire, yeah, yeah looking forward to that. Oh, I yeah, EP coming soon, duh, yeah, I forgot about that, but it's okay. also an EP that's coming after the single that I'm dropping on June 7th, that's gonna be titled None to Prove, so. Okay, fire, fire, looking forward to seeing all the new content, feel me, well, um, feel me, uh, overdue, feel me, we, we definitely love to hear some new music from Equally, and um, feel me, looking forward to listening to it once it drops. How do you, how do you navigate life as an independent artist? I me, mean, I I never been an artist, but for I me, mean, I've heard stories from other individuals that are independent artists, like just trying to get that support from other people, trying to find ways to get resources for certain things. For you personally, how do you navigate life as an independent artist? I ain't gonna lie, that shit is tough. Like it's very hard. Like I get, like we talked briefly outside, you know, yeah. like about like getting discouraged and shit like that. Nigga, like, I be ready to curse out all my social media accounts. I got like about mm. three Instagrams. I be ready to curse out every last follower just because there's be a bunch of people on there that like yeah. just be watching. And like right now, like y'all just watching me, it's not gonna help me. Sorry yeah. to say that, but it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like I need, I need the shares. I need y'all to like it. I need y'all to comment. I need y'all to, you know what I'm saying? Like well, not need because I ain't begging for shit at the yeah. end of the day. But you know what I'm saying? Like to make things really go somewhere you feel me like more traction is beneficial but right. like being independent is definitely very hard like i feel like now like my only advice would be to just you gotta work what you have you feel me like whatever yeah. resources you do like you're a resource for me because you're a place that i can get i can go talk my shit and promote my shit Appreciate um it. even the people that i work with in the harlem's finest like you gotta really just lock in with who you have and you can't really look to the people that you don't have because that's how shit gets all fucked up and foggy but right. being an independent artist is gonna be tricky it's gonna be times you be like yo fuck this shit what am I really doing like I will work 9 to 5 for the rest of my life yeah, <laughs> like, yeah I be feeling like that sometimes I'm too I'm telling you I get my days all the time and I just be like that's not that's not how I see me taking care of my family so it can't be like that but right. just as an independent artist staying consistent staying focused and being uncomfortable because that's really big and being independent. You have to yeah. be uncomfortable. There's going to be a lot of things. There's been a lot of things I've done that I'd be like, oh, I really wish I didn't have to do that shit for me, but yeah. it's benefiting my career and it moved me farther. So right, stay right. consistent, I guess. Yeah, no, I definitely well said for me. I, I, like, like we were talking about outside, like there's been times with this platform where I get discouraged. I post an interview I worked hard on and get 15 views. It's y'all like, fucking tune into my son interviews. Y'all <laughs> fucking <trolling. laughs> I appreciate <laughs> you, sis. I appreciate you. Um, but yeah, just staying consistent knowing that um, for me, I was blessed with this platform and I was blessed with the opportunity to meet amazing people like yourself and meet people like Chris and give y'all um, a space to talk, you know, feel me, talk what you got to talk and also being able to just vent a little bit too, you feel right. me? Um, feel me? I, I, I know I was given this problem for a reason and I think the biggest challenge is staying consistent. But, you know, I got to challenge myself and like you said, um, on your way to the top, you got to do things that you don't want to do. Really? And for me, I know there's mm -hmm. a lot of things that I wish I could have done differently, but for me, it's all part of the no journey. No regrets. Everything yeah, for sure. for a reason. For sure. Um, you know, speaking on, you know, getting your name out there and being able to be on different platforms, how excited are you for the future of Drunk Bars? I'm very excited. Um, I didn't get to show out the first time. I was there, of course, but yeah. I, didn't, I didn't perform. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's a whole story in itself. But, okay. yeah, like, I didn't get to initially perform, but I was still there in support, whether my support was appreciated or not. <laughs> oh, my God. I, you know, I still showed up and did what I had to do. Period. You know what I'm saying? And from what I've seen, like, that shit is a vibe. Like, yeah. I, I've done, like, open mic before, but nothing like this. Like, nothing to the point where somebody's going to give you a shot and yeah. you're going to, you know, spit your shit right quick and meet other people, you feel me? So, I know that shit about to go places. But the next time, I think it's May 5th. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to be there. So, period, yeah, period. Pop out. Single to Mile? Yep. Tequila, raise, whatever. <laughs> say no more, say no more. Looking forward to that. Shout out, sh again, shout out Harlem's Finest. Uh, shout out Drunk Bars, up and coming live performance platform. You feel me? Any up and coming artists, if you want to show what you got, you know. Yeah, tap him. That's the place to go. Yeah.